welcome everyone to uh, another edition of our Paloma AMA. We do these every week. So we just want to thank everyone for showing up and joining. Thank you for all the pigeons on the community that have been with us through uh, the nonstop testnet revisions and shipping. Thank you for all the uh, Paloma pigeons. Uh, thank you for all the community members. Thank you, Vera, uh, for all your hard work as well and the rest of the team at Volume. Uh, great to be here. Today is November 2nd and it's our Wednesday. So um, we are in, we're in Lisbon. Cool, cool. Pigeons are in Lisbon. Well, pigeons are everywhere. <laughs> so everywhere. The flock. That's right. My goodness, they're everywhere. And yeah, we are in Lisbon for uh, Cross Chain Coalition Cocktails uh, Web Summit, as well as Solana Breakpoint. Uh, and uh, we just want to say thank you to everybody who came to the Cross Chain Cocktails that we co sponsored with Curve. Um, on uh, yeah, that was on Monday. That was on Monday. My goodness, it's already two days since that time. Um, and that was a, a great success. And um, we'll be heading to uh, Sui tonight um, because Pigeons are going to be on Sui, as well as uh, to some of our other events by folks at NGC that are our, our early pre-seed investors. So uh, we just want to say thank you to the NGC team. Um, and of course, uh, welcome from Lisbon. Uh, and what we're going to do is talk about Paloma today. So agenda, we'll just give you the reminder what Paloma is, how it works. We want to talk about the past week, um, what we accomplished for the past week, and then um, what's currently active and happening uh, this week um, up until today. Um, so the past week up through today, what's going on and uh, how the community can continue to build on this. So just to orient, if you're first time here, uh, Paloma is palomachain.com. Uh, Paloma is a Cosmos SDK uh, protocol slash blockchain. Um, it is meant to be permissionless cross-chain messaging um, and relaying and gas management secured by tenement consensus. Uh, so a lot of technology layers in there, but the key word is permissionless. Anyone can interact with the Paloma blockchain Anyone can tell the Paloma blockchain which chain it wants to execute transactions on. Uh, Paloma is performance driven. So fast latency as well as validators are relayers. So validators have to perform as relayers. It's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it. So the validators are doing it because then it simplifies slashing. So validators get slashed for stake as opposed to you know multiple slashing models, makes it very easy, reduces service area risk, and of course, increases security because now the validator set, the goal is to grow the validator set as well as to grow speed and performance. Paloma is also a fee market for message relaying. Simply means that uh, Paloma validators may set fees for um, their payment of delivering messages. And uh, you know, uh, it, it is, makes it opportunistic for validators to compete, to essentially uh, send messages at the lowest possible cost, but with the highest possible performance and the highest possible security. Um, Paloma is currently being redeployed to Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum mainnet, Binance Smart Chain mainnet, and uh, we hope some other mainnets coming. So we'll talk about that. So uh, of course, we always invite the community to come propose the next target chain. Uh, we did some community proposals for target chains today, so we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, let's talk about the past week. And uh, here we are. We focus on welcome to Paloma Test Nest 13. Testnet 13 came about uh, due to chain halts we were experiencing on uh, the Paloma consensus module. Um, and so we are still testing for that, but uh, Paloma Testnet 13 has proven stable and with possibly the most validators ever. Coo, 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 coo. Uh, we've now had about 40 testnet validators on Paloma Testnet 13. That's a record. Um, these are unincentivized validators. So really super proud for folks to say, hey, you know what? You don't have to incentivize me. I'm going to come in because this is an important thing we're doing. Um, and we want to say, of course, uh, a renewed welcome back for all the Paloma validators, the OG pigeons who've been with us for literally since June, which is now about six months of essentially every week nonstop releases and weekly upgrades. Uh, so the goal of this was to, um, of course, this testnet 13 uh, consists of tag um, 
0.3 and 0.11.4. Um, those tags were related to the uh, Dragonberry patch, as well as the upgrade of IEVL, as well as the upgrade and migrate away from uh, the Ignite templates uh, that were making up most of uh, Volume's uh, Cosmos RPC code. So those are removed, we migrated away from Ignite, and now um, Paloma is essentially just a regular Cosmos SDK chain. Uh, so that was rocking, and of course this week we've had proposals. So let's walk you through them so you understand what's going on. Proposal number one is we are supporting the Ethereum mainnet again. So why did we do this? Well, for the last few test nets, ever since we deployed to Ethereum, the upgrades have been uh, essentially upgrading you know, the chains by relaunching the chains with a, essentially a, a, a tagged or a snapshot genesis. And that snapshot genesis would contain the previous contract information for the target chains. And of course, that was a fast way of getting on board and getting moved. It was a great success. But once Paloma Testnet 13 came online, uh, what we wanted to do was make sure that everyone, the community, was testing the deployment of contracts for Paloma crushing activity from scratch. Right. So we wanted to test Paloma uh, proposals, passing for implementation of new chains, and deploy the Compass EVM bridge and cross-chain arbitrary logic call uh, contract on, on each of these chains. So um, we're looking to debug and we're looking to allow for non-Genesis deployment. So let us begin. Uh, first proposal is proposal number one. That was Ethereum mainnet. Uh, and that proposal passed. Uh, and congratulations, passed today. But one thing we noticed, of course, like all things, remember we're testing. Once we passed it, uh, this morning we had at least out of the 40, we had over 30 validators offline. Uh, we literally lost 30 out of 40. 75% of the network went offline. And why? Well, because 75% of the network did not have their RPC endpoints set up for Ethereum mainnet. And if you don't have those RPC set up, uh, RPC points set up and, a, and, a, and a, a, a governance proposal to target a new chain of passes, then your pigeon will be jailed. And this does suck. So the very fact that over 75% of the network went, were jailed um, essentially means, well, again, they went inactive. That means as if they went offline was an indication that uh, validators are still not maybe cognizant of how important it is to make sure to have their RPC endpoints um, in place once they vote for a particular chain. So everybody who voted for Ethereum um, I know the vote was so much fun and we had such a blast that you ran away, you flew away to another country, <laughs> but you forgot to make sure the RPC endpoints are set up. So this morning, uh, RPC endpoint alerts went out uh, on Paloma and most of the flock was back in the nest. And so as of this writing, let me actually check. I, I, again, I just want to say, Vera, I am super impressed with this flock. Um, they just, I mean... It's just amazing. I mean, at 34 active and pigeons. Yellow. Yeah. And uh, the flock is growing. That's the flock is growing, right? Like, where are these pigeons coming from? I mean, I, God damn it, they're everywhere. But where do these birds get the message? <laughs> <laughs> it must be. So, again, for, it, it's just amazing to see these pigeons, you know, sort of show up and go, coo, 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 coo. Um, very, very good work. And um, uh, again, very good to recover. And even the alert for pigeons being offline came from another pigeon in the network this morning. Somebody, you know, raised the alarm and said, hey, pigeons are offline and inactive. And of course, when, you know, some of the sample pigeons ran the command, you know, uh, chain holds reason, uh, they came back with that uh, their RPC endpoints. They weren't prepared for the ETH chain. So, um, again, congrats to the pigeons for coming back and saving the network again. Okay, so proposal number two today uh, was proposal for deploying Compass EVM on all the target chains. So Compass EVM is the bridge contract. Uh, again, you're thinking Paloma is permissionless, right? Like, wow, you know, you just write a bridge contract, you deploy it, and then it runs. So can anybody deploy a bridge contract? Well, pretty much you can deploy any contract on Compass. So you could write your own bridge, 
Okay, let me repeat it again. You can write your own bridge software and deploy it and use it on Paloma. I mean, if that doesn't deserve a coup, I don't know what does. But Ooh. again, Paloma is coup, coup, coup. Paloma aims to be fully permissionless so that anybody, right, can run any type of smart contract on any EVM and have that smart contract be controlled by the Paloma validator set. So you don't even have to use Compass, you know, Paloma's Compass EVM as your bridge. You can come with your own bridge and use this proposal, proposal number two, to essentially have it deployed. Uh, so what we like to tell folks is that um, the, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about it is that um, once this Compass EVM is also deployed, every new chain, for every new chain, this contract will be essentially substantiated or deployed onto the target chain. So um, we are, you know, we're bringing back the Compass EVM uh, and we, that vote was uh, submitted by community member Mehmet S. So congratulations, community member Mehmet S. Woo, go Turkey, Ooh. go Turkey. It's your birthday. You're not a bird, yay. Okay, sorry. Just wanted to say I did a little dance. Um, thank you very much. Now, Daria, if you're, not, if you're listening, we love you, but you need to make a proposal, sister. You need to get in there, get that vote going. Um, and so that proposal is up. Uh, and so we decided why not keep it going? Um, we also put up the, the code needed to provision for Binance Smart Chain. And another community member uh, got that running. I forgot who was a community member that got the, the Binance Smart Chain proposal up and running. Um, I think that was, uh, uh, let's see, that looked like it was community pigeon member C card. All right, so congratulations to C card. Well done, right? So that wasn't me. I am nobody. I am not the boss of chains, Daria. I'm not the boss of chains. You're very funny. But um, any community member, so, so somebody took the code and ran the vote. And now uh, we had, I think, three attempts at this one. <laughs> so we had Sikar, we had Jaria, and we had uh, Ik Urkan. All three submitted the same proposals. And of course, how do you, what happens when one proposal is submitted multiple times? You vote no on the other proposals. You simply vote no on the other proposals. So uh, please make sure if you're listening to vote no on proposal four and vote no on proposal five and vote yes on proposal three. Vote yes on proposal three. So again, another big win in that Binance Smart Chain has been voted on. So anyone can propose a new chain Anyone can propose their own bridge contract. And every validator, if the bridge proposal passes, must have RPC endpoints ready for that chain. So now, because validators don't like to, you know, pigeons don't like to work hard um, because they like to eat a lot um, of grains, um, the core important thing to remember is endpoints, endpoints, endpoints. Where do we get endpoints? Uh, so we wanted to, so this is not an official announcement, but we're going to say to folks, uh, pocket endpoints are your best bet. If you are using Paloma and you do not want to spend a lot of cash on endpoints, but you want to perform an endpoint, uh, pocket P-O-K-T has the pocket app that gives you 250,000 free calls every day. And so with Pocket, you can uh, access all the mainnet chains for Paloma, um, not Paloma mainnet, but <laughs> Paloma's testnet for all the target chains. And you will get archive nodes for Binance Smart Chain at no cost, which is huge. It's, a, it's cool, huge. So um, there should be no validator that has to pay for RPC endpoints in this moment. If you are a pigeon, you do not have to pay. Uh, and that free... Uh, is a big plus. So we just want to say thank you for the team of Pocket. Um, we're going to be doing some more sort of visual, you know, sort of promotion of this uh, because we think it's a substantial edge, again, for validators on the Paloma chain. Cool. All right. So now I know it's just a free RPC endpoints um, and and the, the, the management of communicating through the chain, uh, what happens next? So Vera, I know you had some documentation. You want to talk a little bit about the documentation? Um, yeah, sure. And this is really an update that was made as part of Testnet 13. Um, 
where we now allow scheduling and executing jobs from the command line, which is huge because for those of you who um, took part in the eggmenting um, uh, challenge, everything was done through a few Cosmosm contracts um, and you know not everybody here speaks Cosmosm or wants to speak Cosmosm. So now um, that is available through uh, the CLI, and also it's, well, it's really only available if people know about it, right? <laughs> so we did some work to actually expose that functionality in our docs. That's docs.palomachain.com. Under the quick start section, you'll find it there. Um, and it is really two easy steps. You need to first define a job. Um, and then once you have defined your job, you execute your job. Now, and... Okay, so let's talk about impact on this again. All right, because I know we do a terrible job. I know I know we should have like be hiring some really fancy PR agency to help communicate what we do. And while everybody's sort of worried about interest rates, by the way, did interest rates rise today? Figure did the Fed rate hike rates? They did, didn't they? Oh, we'll find out at the end of the day. Okay, this is a distraction. Well, you know, it's not you know digital asset prices and all. Uh, all right, so the Fed haven't announced the hike yet, but let's talk about what this means. So, what we have just exposed in the documentation is that anyone today can essentially create any Solidity contract, get the ABI and the HEX, slap that into a Paloma job on the CLI and run it on Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. All right, so why the heck should you care? Well, it means now that you are literally getting free transaction broadcasts on the Ethereum blockchain up to 0.5 ETH in gas. <laughs> Careful now. Um, so we have a limited constraint to make sure that people don't you know, drain the validators. But you can now essentially use Paloma as if you were using Keeper.network. Now, if you folks don't know, keep dot, you know Keeper.network, Keeper.network is a job network that is built on Ethereum. And uh, it's used for DeFi and it's used for a lot of decentralized activities, which is awesome. Um, so now Paloma essentially does that same job. So what was a product, um, particularly product feature, is now a default um, uh, a capability in Paloma. So today you can have Paloma remote control execute and run jobs, what we call jobs, or essentially transactions on Ethereum mainnet without having to ask permission, without having to you know, um, wait to be told, and to do so freely from an independent network of the currently 40 validators that are securing the system. So this is awesome. And um, this is again, all on testnet. And again, just us you know, continuing to unveil and reveal what can be done with the Paloma network. So literally you can now have an you know, anonymous transaction insertion into Paloma or uh, into Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain, or you can have remote transaction insertion into Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain um, on the Paloma testnet today. So although we like to say, you know, don't risk any important messages that, you know, if they get stuck or if they get, you know, there's an issue in Paloma, you don't want to risk those messages on the network just right now, but you should be able to take full advantage of essentially uh, this type of cross-chain messaging activity in the Paloma jobs. So I want to say that is huge. And uh, again, super, super success to the team uh, that has pulled this together. Now, um, once you get the documentation, you know, we would like to invite folks to take a look at the documentation. Please uh, hit it up. There is a simple example. We even give you a simple solidity. We even give you a simple solidity contract, right, Vera, as, as an example? Uh, yes, that's correct. Awesomeness, awesomeness. So that example is there, and you can just get going. Cool. Okay, so next up, well, what about the next chains? Uh, so I've been thinking about this while walking to the studio, you know, the Pigeon Studio. Uh, you know, Dario was like, avalanche, avalanche, let's go to avalanche. <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> what I wanted to say was, um, uh, again, it is permissionless. Uh, anybody can propose any EVM chain on Paloma's testnet today. But I put up a picture in the Telegram to, you know, from Pocket, this was from Pocket Scan, to show which chains were having the most volume. 
And why is this important? So um, our view is that uh, although you can go to any chain, not all chains are created equal. And so community members, particularly validators, uh, pigeons in the community that have to support these chains should sort of come at this chain, what's the next chain with a sense of where can we make the most money? Where can we collect the most grains? And it's our view that, you know, pigeons can collect the most grains to feed themselves from chains that have the most volume, not necessarily chains that have the, you know, fanciest brand. And so, you know, we would recommend um, if folks were looking to write proposals um, and they don't have to, but if folks were doing so, they would look at chains that are like, hey, where is their volume so that um, there would be demand for insertion of messages into that particular chain. So those chains can be Harmony, Polygon, Gnosis XDAI, and others. You can essentially take a look at the POC Explorer dashboard and see what options are there. We think Avalanche, um, of course, is a target chain that we want to be on. Um, we're just like, let's make sure that everybody's like, hey, we want to be on that target chain because it will make us a lot of money because there are a lot of transactions. Um, if there are less transactions, then, uh, of course, you know, not only do validators have to pay, for, you know, the RPC endpoints only turn paid or they're very busy. Um, the question is, how do we reward pigeons? And so we want validators to always be aggressively looking for, hey, we're pigeons. We're not cheap. Uh, we, we're, you know, we're a valuable resource. So we want to target those chains for which, you know, the valuable resource will be rewarded. All right. And so that is what I have for this week. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Vera, am I missing anything? Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is it, is it complete? Is, is it complete? <laughs> am I missing anything? Is it complete? <laughs> um, so, um, and we're not supposed to talk about what's coming, right? Because uh, one, the SEC says we can't talk about it. And two, um, you know, it will spoil the surprise. But there is more coming. Um, and we can't tell you what it is, unfortunately. But we do say join our Discord, uh, join a Telegram. Uh, you know, if you have the capacity for a server and you can fire it up, do so. If you're lazy and you just want to see the world burn, you can use our CLI to enter in a transaction just to see and test how it will work. We welcome you doing that. Um, and uh, it's going to be used up real gas in, in, in real ETH and real BNB. Uh, we are looking forward to get the proposals passing on deployment of the Compass EMEMs. Uh, which should happen no later than Friday. So by the end of this week, we have even more coming. Um, we just also want to thank the Tendermint teams um, uh, for Marco and for Bez uh, for supporting us this past week. It was just um, awesome to have more Cosmos um, you know, professionals on the Paloma, in the Paloma Nest uh, so that Paloma becomes even more robust and uh, more hardcore. So uh, more to share there. For those of you who have eggs, um, Paloma eggs. We know that October twenty second, there was a there was an event in the egg in the egg metadata, and that event didn't happen. Uh, hold hold fast. Keep your eggs warm. Uh, there is going to be. I can't tell you what's going to happen in the future, but always keep your eggs safe and keep your eggs warm. Do not give your egg to strangers in the street. And if somebody on our Discord DMs you and ask you for your egg, do not give that to them because they are not from Paloma. Okay, Paloma will never. DM you and ask you for your eggs. How dare they? How dare they? <laughs> right. Uh, here, say anything else we need to cover? <laughs> no, I think that's a wrap. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. It's complete. Okay. So um, big progress here at Paloma. Huge. Now um, CLI access to be able to insert any uh, transaction into Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain from Paloma and the gas will be paid for. You don't have to pay for the gas. Uh, that gas will be covered. So uh, welcome aboard. And uh, if you're in Lisbon, please let us know. Uh, we're gonna be in Lisbon for a few more days. Uh, so glad to meet up with folks uh, um, as we nest around here before taking flight. And so we also wanna say thank you to community members for coming to all our events so far. That's it. And with that, let us cool the music.